बेसिकली वी विल डिनोट ए एडजिसेंसी मैट्रिक्स बाय एक्स ओके एंड यू वी यू नो दैट दिस मैट्रिक्स कंटेन्स द एलिमेंट लाइक ए आई जे क्लियर वेयर ए आई जे हैज सम वैल्यूज बिकॉज मैट्रिक्स मीन्स देर देर आर सम रोज देर आर सम कोलम्स ओके एंड ईच रो एंड ईच कोलम देर आर सम एलिमेंट्स ओके एंड दीज एलिमेंट्स आर ए आई जे सो वॉट इज द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए आई जे सो हे आर इन द एडजिशंसी मैट्रिक्स इट्स वैल्यू वन मीन्स द एलिमेंट ए आई जे विल बी वन वेन jth is okay not not jth is sorry its value will be 1 one its value is one if if there exist and is there exist n is are you getting point are you getting my point if there exist n is between i and j between i th and j th vertex so it means that if there is a as between ith and jth vertex then we will write one okay and otherwise zero okay if there is no as there is no as between ith to jth clear so how to find so basically adjacency matrix is a matrix of order n so what is the n so let here g b a i take a graph g b a graph let g b a b a graph okay let g b a graph with order n g is any graph with order n but let g b a graph with order n but no parallel is condition is here okay we will take only those graph in which there is no parallel is clear no parallel is so then okay okay take one example here this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 as e1 as e2 as e3 okay it is c3 graph we have to find a matrix x in which the element is what is the order of this matrix okay order will be the here i can write here n cross n order will be n cross n now so n cross n means number of vertices here v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 
v3 now can tell me here v1 is vertex this one and here is vertex v1 is there is any edge between v1 and v1 in this graph is any edge no sir no so i will write here zero now is any edge from v1 v1 to v2 yes sir one v1 to v2 there is a one edge so i will write one okay now is any edge from v1 to v3 is also there is a one edge also yes sir i will write here one same here v2 so from v2 there is an edge from v3 and v3 to v1 but there is no edge from v1 v2 to v okay so it means that its value is 0 its value is 1 Okay, then are you getting? Are you getting this? Yes, sir. Okay, so this one is the adjacency matrix. So in this case, in this case, row. What is the row? Row basically it is the set. It is the vertex set, and column is also. Vertex set clear. Column represent the vertex set and also row represent the vertex set. Only adjacency matrix is there. Is happened clear? Only in the adjacency matrix, row and column will be the set vertex set of vertices. Clear? Now, second matrix is. incidence matrix okay in c dense matrix so in this case what will you do suppose let again g b a graph with order n and no self loop order order n and no self loop clear in the previous graph we have no parallel rays adjacency means you can see here if there is a parallel rays then how because uh, if i include any parallel edge from here to here then how to define its value is one because i am in the definition i am saying that if there is a one edge only so one edge means no parallel edge between any two pair of vertices clear and in the adjacency to define the adjacency matrix there is a no self loop in the graph clear so we can say that now a matrix a matrix so i can denote this matrix by suppose m and its element will be i j its elements will be i j where i j what is the meaning of i j what is the value of this and what is the order of this one a matrix of order what is the order of this matrix sir n, n cross cross e n cross e okay so here its value is 1 when its value is 1 if if j th is is incident on height vertex okay and zero 
otherwise. So basically n is here number of vertices e is age set of a's okay again i take same example here v1 v2 v3 e1 e2 e3 clear this is the graph g and you know that here n is equal to 3 and e is the a's e1 e2 e3 and uh, these are also 3 and uh, this is the set of vertices v1 v2 v3 okay so what is the matrix here the order will be 3 cross 3 are you getting my point? It will be 3 cross 3. So, now, we will write here as E1, E2, E3. E1, E2 and E3. Okay? And these are the columns because you can see that E is the column. So I can write here E. E1, E2, E3. And these are the vertices. Vertices are V1, V2 and V3. Now, according to definition, definition say that its value is 1 if jth i is incident on the vertices i so here this is the age age e 1 is incident on you can see from here age e is incident on v1 and v2 so age 1 is incident v1 and v2 so its value is 1 and because A is not incident on V3, so I will write here 0. Okay. Next, A is E2 is incident on V2 and V3, V2 and V3. Again, A is E3 is incident on V1 and V3, V1 and V3. Okay. So this one is the incidence matrix. Okay. Now, circuit matrix. Circuit matrix. circuit matrix okay again let g be a graph okay graph of order n and size e okay g be a graph whose order is n and size e then the sir, what is the circuit matrix? So, in the graph G, first of all, we will calculate all the circuit in G. Okay. So, suppose I take the graph here. V1, V2, V3 and V4. Because we are going to find the circuit matrix, first of all, we need two circuits in the graph G. Okay. So, how many circuits in the graph G? First circuit is 
circumference set of A's. Also, I will write here E1, E2, E3, E4, and E5. First circuit is this one. Okay, means A's E1, E4, and E5. It is first circuit. This one is first circuit. Second circuit is. E two, E three, E five, E two, E three, and E five, and again fourth, third circuit. It is also a circuit. Which one? E one, E two, E three, E four. E one, E two, E three, and E four. So this graph has only four. Sorry, three circuits. this graph g has only three circuits then how to find the mat circuit matrix so basically a circuit matrix the matrix of order what is the order matrix suppose i denote it mz okay matrix mz of order here what is the column here age and in this case it is what is said means row represent the vertex and column represent the age and in this graph both are vertex set okay except the adjacent adjacency matrix all these all others matrix adjacency uh, incidence matrix circuit matrix cut set matrix fundamental cut set matrix okay all the matrix yes kahin okay all the matrix the column will be the set of age the order will be number of circuit because we are finding the circuit matrix the order will be the number of circuit multiplied cross age e clear means just in place of this just you can write uh, number of circuit and age so how what is the order of this mean what is the order of this circuit graph there are only three circuits the cross number of age five okay so our matrix will be mg will be here so how to write mg will be aiz okay and a i z is equal to what is the value of a i z means if if n if the a is lie in the circuit its value is 1 otherwise 0 are you getting my point means 1 if if i th circuit Includes the jth row. Oh, sorry, age. Basically, j denote the j j denote the age. I denote the no, circuit. Are you getting my point? And zero otherwise. Zero. Otherwise, now the circuit matrix of this graph is will be its order will be three cross five. So here I I can write gamma one, gamma two, and gamma three. Okay, and here each set E one, E two, E three, E four, and E five. Okay, now tell me 
इन गामा वन हाउ मेनी एज ई वन ई फोर एंड ई फाइव मीन्स इन द सर्किट आई मीन्स आई सर्किट इंक्लूड द एज देन यू विल राइट वन सो एज ई वन इंक्लूड इन आर गामा वन यस ई फोर इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूड एंड ई फाइव इज ऑल्सो इंक्लूड ओके इन गामा टू ई टू इज इंक्लूड ई थ्री इज इंक्लूड ई फाइव इज इंक्लूड एंड गामा थ्री ई वन इज इंक्लूड ई टू इज इंक्लूड ई थ्री इज इंक्लूड ई फोर इज इंक्लूड ई फाइव इज नॉट इंक्लूड ओके सो दिस वन इज द सर्किट मैट्रिक्स ओके नाउ फंडामेंटल सर्किट मैट्रिक्स वॉट डू मीन बाई फंडामेंटल सर्किट मैट्रिक्स सो टू डिफाइन ए फंडामेंटल सर्किट मैट्रिक्स वी नीड ए स्पानिंग ट्री बिकॉज विद रेस्पेक्ट टू गिवन स्पानिंग ट्री we can find a fundamental we can find the fundamental circuit are you getting my point hello yes sir yes sir okay so to define a fundamental circuit first of all we need a spanning tree okay and with respect to the given spanning tree you will find all the fundamental fundamental circuit and just you will write row represent the fundamental circuit and column will be the age if any age lie in the fundamental circuit you will write one otherwise zero okay so it is for your work next cut set matrix cut set matrix means same here let g be a graph of order n and size e okay matrix of order so what is the order here what is the order of a matrix the matrix of order number of cut sets number of cut set cross e are you getting my point in the previous what is the number of circuit here cross e we have defined the size of a matrix according to the matrix okay in the previous i told you circuit so order will be the number of circuit into as and in this case in the cut set matrix number of the cut set into as okay and also incident matrix vertex that of vertex into Age, clear.
We need a spanning tree of this graph. We need a spanning tree of this graph. Okay. We need the spanning tree in this graph. Okay. And number of fundamental circuit in place of this. What will you, you what will you write here? You will write the fundamental cut set. Fundamental cut set here. Okay. And number of phase will be there here. Okay. The column will be represent the number of phase always. But in but row can be represented as the fundamental cut set. Okay. First of all, you will find all the fundamental cut set. And just in the row, first fundamental cut set, second fundamental cut set, and third cut fundamental cut set. Okay. If rows, sorry, A's lie in the first fundamental cut set, we will write one one. Otherwise zero. So which A's lie in the second fundamental cut set, you will write one one. Otherwise you will be write zero. Okay. जो A's lie कर रहे हैं fundamental cut set में, उन वहाँ one लिखेंगे और जो lie नहीं कर रहे उनको zero लिखेंगे. ओके, आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट यस सर ओके एंड लास्ट इज पाथ मैट्रिक्स बिटवीन पेयर ऑफ सपोज पेयर ऑफ वर्टिस आर गिवन विदाउट गिवन पेयर ऑफ वर्टिस वी कैन नॉट फाइंड द फंडामेंटल पाथ मैट्रिक्स ओके फोर एंड डायरेक्ट ग्राफ है again i take simple graph here so what will we do let gba gba graph of order n and size e matrix of order so what is the order here number of path the order of the order of matrix is is the number of path between x and y okay X एंड Y के बीच में जितने भी पाथ है यू कैन कैलकुलेट क्रॉस E नंबर ऑफ एट ओके एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाई सपोज P एंड इट इज ए आई जे ओके मैट्रिक्स ए आई जे एंड ए आई जे ओके ए आई जे नथिंग इट इज Value one when means when one if j a lie in the ith path okay if basically it is the age j is the age and i is the path okay here this is the path representation this is the age if j is lies in ith path okay we will write one otherwise zero okay so i'm taking example again this one okay it is V1, V2, V3 is E1, E2, E3. Okay. So first of all, what will you do? And we have to find a matrix between V1 and V3. We have to find path matrix between V1 and V3. Okay. So path between V1 and V2 will be V1 and V3. First path is E1. E three, okay. Just we can go from this vertex to this vertex. V one and V three, okay. And there is only second path is this one, which contains E one and E two. 
Are you getting my point? Yes, sir. Okay. So it means from V one to V two, there are only two paths, P one and P two. The size of the matrix will be two cross three. The matrix P will be here. Here P one. Matrix is here. Path P one, path P two is E one, E two, E three. Polar mass will be the age. Okay. Now you can see that which age is line path path one contains only E three age. Okay. Path one contains only E three age. So its value is one. Others zero. Okay, and in this P two E one and E two R is so this one is a path matrix. Any doubt? No sir. No, sir. Okay, so this chapter is complete. Now you know about how to find a matrix means. adjacency matrix incident matrix cut set matrix okay circuit matrix fundamental and fundamental cut set matrix and path matrix also okay now you have a matrix and you know the and how to find the analysis of a matrix means you can find rank you can find nullity of a matrix okay also you can find eigen values and eigen vectors can you find from the matrix if a matrix is given can you find eigen values from a matrix yes, okay you can find because you know about these all very well you have studied in the last classes okay If a matrix is given, and also you can find if a matrix uh, is a square matrix, then you can find also find the determinant of a that matrix. Okay. And what can you find? Now, in these two lectures means previous and today we have seen that we have a graph g okay we have a graph g from this graph we can associate a vector space we can associate a vector space and also from this we can find a matrix okay matrix is nothing it is a linear operator linear transformation from vector space to vector space are you getting my point hello are you getting my point or not from g you can find a you, vector space also you can find a matrix but in the re, uh, linear algebra first view study vector space okay then linear transformation and associated to, uh, from this linear transformation you study the matrix okay first you study the vector space and then matrix linear transformation on vector space and then you find the matrix associated with the linear transformation here we have a graph g and from this graph you, you can construct a vector space and you can construct a matrix okay 
we have a some vector space and some matrix okay so question is that can you find a linear transformation from this vector space to this vector space from which you can associate a matrix means linear transformation associated with a graph can you find the linear transformation from graph means linear transformation associated with a graph because we know how to find a vector space means vector space associated with a graph matrix associated with a graph so we have a drawback means we have a we have a gap we have a gap and that gap is a linear transformation can you find a linear transformation means associated linear transformation from a graph okay try it and tell me okay and one um, point is also i will discuss matrix from relation okay suppose we have a set s 1 and 2 and 3 and r is a relation like this one 1 1 1 2 1 3 from this relation we can find a matrix that matrix will be equal to here 1 2 3 1 2 3 so in this relation 1 1 exist then you will write 1 1 2 exist 1 1 3 exist 1 and if any element does not belong to the relation then we will write 0 okay so it means that from any relation we also can write a matrix okay from any relation we can write a matrix okay so basically it is a matrix represented from a relation okay now i stop here and tomorrow we will start we will not start you will start you all start diagram अटेंडेंस बोलेंगे आप लोग सर्कल के हिसाब से लगा दीजिए वन टू यस सर थ्री फोर फाइव प्रेजेंट सर सिक्स Yes, sir. Seven, eight, nine. Yes, sir. Ten. Present, sir. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. The two one. Which one? Who's? The thirteen. Right. Ashish, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Present, sir. Nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Yes, sir. Present, sir. Twenty-one. Twenty. So twenty-one. Twenty-two, twenty-three. Yes, sir. Twenty-five, twenty-six. Sir, twenty-four, sir. Sir, twenty-four. लग गया. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. Yes, sir. With who's that? Yes, sir. 
रोल नंबर बोलिए ट्वेंटी नाइन अभी ट्वेंटी नाइन बोला ही नहीं है हमने ट्वेंटी एट तक किसी का अटेंडेंस रुक है छुटा है क्या कोई नहीं ट्वेंटी वन ट्वेंटी वन 